Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a really cool little device called the Mighty Pro Plug by Nuex. So it's a really cool little device that you can plug into your guitar and you can either plug in headphones to practice or you can record direct into your computer with it. And there's an app that goes with it that has all sorts of amps, impulse responses, all sorts of effects, delays, reverbs, modulations, and stuff like that. So you get all that in this tiny little device that just plugs into your guitar. Really, really cool useful for recording and for practicing. So we're gonna check out this device and see if it's something that you could be interested in or that you could benefit from using. So if you do wanna buy one, there will be purchase links down in the description down below. However, Nuex did send me a second one in order to give out to one of my subscribers, so I will mention on how to do that towards the end of this video. But let's check out this device and see if it's something that you might be interested in. All right, so just going over the setup and how it works. So this is the device, it comes in a really nice package, and it comes with four different items. So first of all, you get the manual, so you know how to use it. You do get a warranty on the device as well. You do get a USB-C cable, which is great because that is used for charging the device as well as connecting it directly to like a computer or something like that. And also for updating the firmware because it does get firmware updates as well. Really cool. And then this is the device itself. Pretty simple, it plugs into your guitar and you have a few switches on the side. So here you have a reset if you need to hard reset it. Here's where you plug in your headphones or the USB-C cable. You do have the switch over here to turn it on, hold it to turn it on, you'll see the light start to blink. And then you have volume controls over here. So if you need more, turn it up. If you need less, turn it down. And if you push that button on the side just once, it's a quick mute. If you hold it, that's what turns it on or off. Pretty straightforward, very easy to use. So as of the time of filming, this goes for $100, about $110. $10. I think that's completely fair priced, especially for how many options you get with this device. It's really cool. Again, purchase links are down in the description down below. So in order to get started, plug it into your guitar, either plug in your headphones if you want to listen quietly, or plug it USB-C into your computer. So there is an app for computers, so you can use it on Mac or Windows, but I'm going to download the app and do it on my iPad. It is available for Apple or Android as well. So what's going to do when you first when you first get it, it's going to come up like this, and these are all the devices that you can use with this app that Nuex uses. But you're gonna click the Mighty Pro plug, click to scan, it found it since mine is on. So it found it, oops. Don't click it again like that, like I just did because that'll disconnect it. It's connected and the, you have the, these options down here to go through some of the different settings. But the main one you're gonna wanna be on is edit. So what you're gonna do is you basically, you have seven different presets up here and you can see I'm switching through them and I've, I have some that I've currently already saved. And the most important part is this right here and this is your signal change. So you have a gate, you have some compression, you have distortion, an amp, impulse responses, EQ, delay, modulation, and reverb. And all of these can be moved around into whatever order you would like. So you can put the compressor at the end if that's what you wanted to do, put the reverb before the delay, and then on the individual patches, you can click, so right now I'm on reverb, I click the button where it says spring, I can choose a hall reverb instead, or a room reverb, or shimmer or anything like that. And you can change any of the parameters in here that you would like. To engage one of the pedals, just make sure that the switch is on. If it's not enabled, it'll be grayed out. If it is enabled, it'll have like the color around it. Pretty straightforward. I do always recommend to put that noise gate on. It's usually just a good idea. You have different types of compression and a bunch of different amps to choose from. I'm gonna go through some of them here. In a little bit, I just wanted to show you how this works. You also, with your impulse responses, you can import your own as well. I haven't seen that in an app like this. Really smart of them to do that. Um, but up here, you can scroll through your different presets. And like I said, you get seven of them. And like I said, I've made six of them myself. If you turn on or off this active switch, you can disable some of them so that when you push the button on the device itself, it doesn't scroll through them. So see, it's gonna skip six and skip seven. So if you only save like, you know, five presets, it won't play six and seven, which is cool. But I'm gonna enable all of those. Of course, as you're editing, if you want to save your settings, you push save and it saves it in that preset, which is really nice. If you're making edits and you don't like what you're doing, so I just did some edits on preset one. I didn't like it, I'm gonna to go to preset two and go back to preset one. And now, you know, it hasn't changed at all. You do have a way to share, so you can share it by QR code or load it from QR code, which is a little, you know, more difficult, but that's okay. It'd be nice if they had just kind of like an online form or something like that. And hitting this patch level button right here brings up the patch level. I had to definitely level these out because these two I had to put all the way up and then these two I had to put way down uh, just in the way that it worked out. So I'm gonna show you just kind of some of the tones that I have. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is just a straightforward, just gate, Soldano amp, which I love Soldano amps, and an impulse response. In general, what I do, let me get this patch level out of here. I always low cut everything below somewhere between 80 and 100 and high cut anything between like 7,000 and 10,000 and just use my ear on it. It just makes it clean it up a lot. So here's one of the patches that I have. <laughs> Kind of just the standard rock tone, but I mean, you get a lot of... Let's just start messing around with some of the parameters here. I mean, master, you guys know what that does. Here's the bass all the way... No bass. That sounds terrible. And you know, I mean, you guys know how to dial in a tone, so I don't have to really go over that a lot, but you do get a lot of control over these. Um, the impulse responses really give you a variety of changes of tone changes, and that's true with most apps that you use. So here's a well, that sounds like crap. <laughs> See how I mean how they sound so different. The same amp, same settings, but the cab and the impulse response is different. That one sounds pretty nice, actually. So I, I went with the Soldano one. Sounds really nice. So on the EQ, you have two options. You have six band or 10 band EQ, and you have different pages that you can cycle through. So I usually like the 10 band EQ. So, you know, I feel like I've kind of messed up my tone, so I'm gonna get out of here and go back to it. You know, that was more what I was interested in. So you do have a way to change the EQ. You do have different types of delays. And you, you can't and you can tap it in as well. Here's a slow one. You know, and you can change the delay time. The level. How much it feeds back. Pretty straightforward. I mean, if you messed around with pedals, you know how that sounds. Modulation, you get all of these different ones. I'm not really a modulation guy, but you know, I'll probably mess around with the modulation on a clean setting. And you got some really nice reverbs in here. I definitely like these. I'm gonna turn it up just so you can. These might be better on like kind of clean settings. So that's one of the tones that I figured that I messed with. And I really like that one. Here's the second one. I can either get to there by pushing the buttons up here on the top or by pushing the button on the device itself. See how it's cycling through them as I push the button, which is really cool. This is my clean tone. Really nice, just nice and clean. I would add more delay to that actually. for that riff, that's one of my riffs. This is a good time to show you kind of some of the modulation effects. Let me turn the delay off. So here's, you know, kind of a chorus. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm not much of a modulation guy, but I'll play some of them. Vibrato. You know, ridiculous amounts. a good rotary that's kind of the only modulation i really like but you can see you have all these different options in there i'm gonna turn that off show you some of the delays so you don't get a whole lot but you get the main ones so analog whoop make sure you turn it on digital modulation How much does it modulate? 
Tape echo, which is usually the one that I usually go for. Like the sound of that. And then of course the pan delay. So yeah, I usually go with the tape echo. Let me turn that off so you can hear some of these reverbs. Room reverb. Let's turn the level into K up just so you can hear it a lot. I don't, I'm not really a fan of room. I like hall. Do the decay up. I love the sound of that reverb. So nice. Plate. I really like plate too. See how nice it is to practice like with headphones into this type of a setting. It's really cool. Shimmer. Want that really spacey stuff. And this damp one's pretty minimal. But actually really nice, really nice sound. So yeah, I really like the way that those reverbs sound. But yeah, so this is what I settled on for my clean tone. I'd actually would want more reverb on. Actually, I want the damp one. I like that one. I'm in drop D, so. But yeah, so you can see how some of those, this, the effects sound really good. Okay, moving on. This third one. Kind of more like, I had it kind of down here. This Mr. Z amp is pretty nice. Because it, it can get some nice. But I have a distortion on this one. I just have a tube screamer. So that's how it sounds without it. But, but you have all sorts of different uh, types of distortion in here. Some of them are good. Some of them aren't. I like the sound of this one. Pretty nice. Blues driver. That filter is an interesting effect. that type of sound so it's it's a really nice actually type of tone so it's more my classic rock type of tone the noise gate you just get just the noise gate so but i mean it's always nice to have that on moving on to the next one this is my what i came up with for like a metal tone <laughs> Nice, nice distorted tone. But yeah, messing around with some of the distortions in front of the amp, it can definitely be a nice way to drive it up a little bit. This next one is just another distorted tone. I use this one kind of for leads, so. Let's turn it up a little bit. You know, nice, nice tape echo and a little bit of reverb. If you really wanted to 70s or 80s it up, I mean. But again, I'm not really a modulation guy. I don't know, it sounds nice. I like a good tremolo. All sorts of different stuff in there, but yeah, this this tone was already kind of in there, and I kind of just edited it to make my own, but just super, just super ambient. So it's the hall reverb, just with a ton of delay. So you know my Pink Floyd.
where you can zone out for hours, you know. And this one I didn't do anything with. This was a... It sounds nice. I think it's based off of like an acoustic type of thing. To me, that doesn't sound like a real guitar, you know, but it's really nice sounding. So I don't really care about, you know, tone sounding exactly authentic. I just, if this, I could zone out to this for, you know, forever. Pretty cool. I'm going to save it. And now it's saying that it's saving and saving to the device and it's ready to go. And the thing that's cool about this is that after it's all saved in the app, I don't need the app anymore. I can just scroll through that by pushing the button right here. So down here at the bottom, you have a few things like a drum machine. You can turn it on. You know, and you have different types of, you know, blues, metal, country, jazz. And you can just jam along, you know, you have all sorts of different ones in here that you can do. So you can always jam along, you know, here if you want to, and you can set the tempo to whatever you want. It's a nice little way to just, you know, practice something. Although, you do get these jam tracks. So here's one. Oh, I wonder why this is coming through. This is coming through on the iPad. Can you hear that? It's interesting, it's not coming through my, it's not coming through my headphones, so, but yeah, you can, you can jam along to different tracks and stuff like that. Play, fast forward, loop, you know, repeat, don't repeat, stuff like that. Here you just have a couple of settings. Uh, you can turn on just a noise gate just in general over here, which is great as well. So this microphone setting thing, I had to look up. You can use this for like live streaming. And here's a clip from the manual showing you how to do that if you want to pause so you can read how to use this feature. Um, and then in your settings, you don't have a whole lot. You know, if you do USB audio, you can use this. So if you're going to re, you can do this as like a reamp uh, and you can reset all presets if you want. So that's basically it. I mean, it's a cool little device and it's, they sound pretty good. Take some time and mess around with it, but it sounds really cool. So overall, I think it's a really cool little device. It's a lot better than some of the other ones that I've tried out that are, you know, that do something similar. The amount of amps that you get and the amount of tones that you get from that is really cool. The fact that you can load your own impulse responses really takes it to the next level. Really cool, really well designed. Thank you to NewX for sending me the device to check out. I really like it. And fortunately, one of you is going to win one of these. So all you have to do in order to win one of these, is you have to be a subscriber to my channel. First of all, it's only for subscribers. And you have to leave a comment down in the description over the next five days. And I will do the drawing of who won this in my video next week. So best of luck. Leave a comment down below. Say whatever you want. Some of you know the code word already. But any comment down below will be qualified to win if you're a subscriber. So thank you guys again for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm. So I would appreciate it. I've also reviewed two of the new X wireless products that are really cool. They come in a carrying case that charges the wireless kind of like, you know, an Apple AirPods type of thing. Really cool. So check that video out. I've also reviewed a bunch of other cheap wireless music gear that you can check out by clicking the links on your screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages at Scott Yule Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.